Good morning. This is Brian with Be Outdoors Alaska. Today, we are at Lake Louise Lodge with Chasing Kells Guide Service. We just finished up our breakfast at the lodge and now we are going to head over to the point to grab the snow machines and all the gear. Yesterday was a fantastic day of fishing and we're hoping today it continues. Thanks for watching and come along with us as we go fishing at Lake Louise. Got fishing holes set up all over. Is that okay if I run back and grab that? Absolutely, go for it. Okay, right. okay you got it? Yep. I'm gonna be back, okay? Alright. Love ya. Love ya. Sticks out here have alarms on them, so if we hear an alarm go off, that's we'll have to race out and grab it. Alright. Which they should start going off. I'm guessing before too long. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. I got a fish! Yeah, you can hear me. Oh, it's a big one too. Fish on! Yeah! What do you got? Don't know. Are you taking drag at all? Or? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a laker, I think. It's kind of fun to watch them on the screen over there. Yeah. Oh, this is a decent fish. Cool. Oh yeah. Might be a big bird though. No, that's a laker. Jeez. <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, he's nice. I think it's at least 30, 30 plus inches. Looks like 30. Jeez. I see as he here. Slow lifts up and reel down. Get him tired. He's looping under the hole a little bit. That's an easy, that's a big dark laker. Hey, <laughs> buddy! Holy crap! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Dude, look at that! That's a 30-some incher! Got what, about a 32 incher or so? Something like that? Real nice fish. Good fight here. <sighs> Can you get a good release on him? Chase and Tails Guide Service out at Lake Louise. Here we go. Boom. Nice job, man. Thanks. Yeah. Hop down and get another one. Lamar, Lamar right here. Right, Is this a bird, maybe? Oh, no, come on.
This is Ned's bag. Well, B. Yo. Yeah. I was fighting with it for like five, six minutes to get it up. Really? Yeah, I was fighting with it for a long time. I'll get it closed and then we pull all my drag back up. Just kind of time it as he. Oh, yeah, he's on. Look at that. Coming up, coming up, coming up. <laughs> Oh, oh. Yes, got back down. He might, he might come right back, especially That's if it's a burbot. <laughs> we just lost him at the hole. He's going back down. <laughs> come on, hit him again. Watch, he's going to turn on it, dude. He wants it. Look at him. Look at him go to the bottom. Look at that fish, dude. It looks like a pretty good signature on the, the screen, don't it? <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Yeah, you're close. Oh yeah, you gotta keep going, keep going. He's coming up to you. Look at he's coming up hard for you. See that? Yep. Oh. There he goes. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Do I stop? Whoa! He just bailed though. Oh, look at him turn around, coming back. Oh. All right. Fish on. Laker? Huh. Uh, like... Culture thing up here too. Like everybody catches bourbon in the lakes and rivers. Everybody uses a food source. It's known as something really good to eat. Okay. And yeah, you don't necessarily want to keep the giant ones either. They reproduce a lot faster than lake trout. No, it's, I mean, I, I'd post pictures and videos all day of bourbon. But... That one loses the tentacles already too. Most of the tail's already gone on that one, just like the other one. It'll work for a while. Oh, I did it again. I think that rod's down. Hop on, look. Hop on. There you go. He's on. He's on. Nope. Back down. Two. There we go. Nice. Nope. <laughs> He's got it, don't he? There we go. I think you got him. I think it's there. We just caught one on that other rod over there, so. <laughs> oh, we got him all right. Wow. Dark one. Real dark laker. They're bleeders in general, though. They're usually fine. This hole was going off yesterday, like you wouldn't believe. 
I think it's there. Ah! Oh, he's still there. I thought nice. it. I thought it popped too. Oh, <laughs> no, it did. Keep it. Oh yeah, it's just got fouled up. There we go. Drop it down. They're, just, okay. they're so small, like the small ones. Like, it's just hard to keep those things hooked. I mean, it's hard because you set it hard and then you really yank on them. You almost pretty much just have to long line them up as fast as you can, or they'll just the hook just pops out there. I told him, I'm like, you don't know how lucky you are to live up here. I dreamed about living up here my whole life, and you get to start out here. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. But I've been up, this year will be 24, 20 years. It was 2004. Yeah, those are Roosevelt elk, so those are not the Rocky Mountain species. Yep. They get bigger bodies, actually, but they don't get as big of horns. What do you do? Exactly? Yeah, we'll rent out ice shacks, jeans. Well, ice shacks are like 125 to 150 a night. Um, snow machines are like two to 325. Um, we've got a newer Skidoo Expedition. The other one that we rent for 325. The older two-stroke Bearcat and Lynx are like 200, 225. Um, yeah, and then we do guided trips. We do setup trips too. We set up uh, portable shanties and stuff, just like the hard sides, but you know they're insulated with heaters. You can rent rods and augers, tackle, bait, everything. pretty much everything. Yeah, anything that you need from, you know, even a drop-off trip or something, we can take you out and drop you off at the shack. <laughs> oh yeah, you're good. He lost it again, huh? <laughs> Those fish. <laughs> Go back down and get that bugger. You playing with it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That should be hook stayed in. It pops out. <laughs> Just took it. Got a good piece of meat on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not coming off. <laughs> we have five chances here. <laughs> Put it right back. <laughs> He's like, I'm just going to do it by hand. <laughs> Sometimes you got to go old school and just hand line them. <laughs> ah, lake trout. Right on. I a... like that other one, huh? Got him. Right on. Fifth or sixth time now? <laughs> Good job. Don't think we need more than that. Three of our tubes have already got the tails ripped off today. We're gonna do it from far away. That's a long run. Smile, oh, man. I'm smiling. Don't see it bouncing. You want to look out and just see that sucker completely corked over. Yeah, I don't see it bouncing. Did he swallow it? No. Good. Sweet. So you can release him? Yeah. Good deal. This is about the time of day pretty soon, though, in the next 30 minutes. Oh, it bent over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what we're looking for. I figured that's what it was. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh man, that's a beaut, dude. Yes, it is. We wanted that. That's wow. You saw, My hands are shaking. twice as big as ever. That's too bad, it broke off. Yeah. Oh, and the bait just fell off that one. Was the rod bent over when you got here? Just kind of, just kind of bounced a couple times. It's like a small bourbon mouth. <laughs> oh, <crap. laughs> oh yeah. Oh, probably just sitting down there swallowed it already. Like this year, November fourteenth was the day we had the best day I've ever had ice fishing for Lakers, especially on Lake Louise. We landed forty-five lake trout. One guy sat in one hole all day and he hooked 18 lake trout and he landed 12 of them. So, well, that's probably better than anybody I've seen in, in a single hole on this lake specifically. But Up in the high U.S., you do the, the brook trout. Mm -hmm. um, they have really co pretty colors like that too up there in the mountains. And a brook trout is a char, part of the char. Is family. it? Yep, they are. Oh, okay. Brook trout, bull trout, lake trout, and then actual like arctic char, Dolly Varden. I didn't know that. Yep, those are all char species. I don't even know. I'll have to look at videos. Right. I might not be able to go as fast because he broke his goggles, so I gave him mine. But I'll be there. Here, and you can keep the place safe from the abominable snowman while I'm gone. Cold Rock.